Hey everybody, how's it going? So I've been working on a couple of different projects lately for a few different organizations. I have the 501c4 called Repair Preservation Group Action Fund that I did a GoFundMe for. That was to raise funds for political lobbying and advocacy towards right to repair. And I also have a 501c3, which is entirely separate from that. It is Repair Preservation Group, where I seek to work on educational materials and that type of stuff for repairs. Now, one of my projects here was the Repair Wiki, which I have here, and I haven't gotten as much interest than this as I w was looking to. What I was looking to do were find people that were experts in their particular fields of board repair to be able to create guides and manuals here. And I contributed a lot of my own guides here, as you can see. Like, there's a lot of, um, of break-fix stuff. So you have a case study, you have a problem on the left or a symptom on the left, what's causing it, and how to fix it on the right. And I have like visual inspection guides on how to tell when there's something wrong with a board and what will last versus what won't last. I'm really trying to put as much educational materials here as possible. There's also some educational stuff on just some basics on how to run a repair business. And what I was hoping to do with this were find people that were at the top of their craft that could contribute to this uh, for, for financial compensation. I'm still working on this as a project, but it hasn't gotten as far as I'd like. So I'm kind of pivoting and trying a few other things. And one of them is going to be an in-person, just kind of workshop for people who want to bring in things that want to be able to use some soldering equipment, maybe have some questions on their soldering or their technique. And I wanted to announce that today. So I'm using meetup.com for this at this point in time. And over here, you can see that I have a soldering and troubleshooting support hosted by Lewis R. on Sunday. That's tomorrow from 3 to 4 p.m. So what is this? So I have a class that I used to teach, and that is a paid class at the store for people who want to get better at MacBook board repair. This is specifically for people who are already in the business and have a repair shop and who want to specifically get better at component level MacBook logic board repair. We charge a good amount of money for that. That is a particular, that is a, typically like a week long course. This is different. This is free. So what this is, is if you're having trouble soldering something, or you're curious about your technique when it comes to QFN soldering, or you're trying to solder a wire onto something, or you just want to be able to use somebody else's equipment to solder something because your soldering iron at home sucks, and you have a scratched up magnifying glass, and you'd like to try using a microscope, you can bring it by, and maybe we'll help you out with it. I'm not going to do everything for you, but I'll try to give you some pointers or tips. It'll either be myself or a staff member that will give you some pointers and tips while you're here on how to do it it. And I, I want to kind of just experiment with this as an idea. So I've set up three stations in my office that have a microscope, a soldering iron, a hot air station, a couple of tips, a, a tool, like a, a screwdriver, a toolkit, uh, a power supply, no multimeters yet. I'm going to, we're waiting for the multimeters to arrive. I fucked up and forgot that. We're going to have a monitor so that I can see it with a microscope camera so that I can see what your soldering is so that I can give you pointers and tips as you go. And the idea is to be able to offer this as a free resource to people who can't afford to pay for a class who just want to be able to get some advice. In the very beginning, it it was it, it really killed me that I had to learn this stuff on my own and then I couldn't get advice. I just had to, you know, mess around and mess around and beat my head against the table until I figured out what I was doing wrong. So I want to be able to just kind of give people a little bits of advice uh, where they where that may be able to help them with either a tr a troubleshooting or some or basic soldering where they otherwise would have, you know, driven themselves nuts trying to figure it out on their own. The, to be clear, this is free. Anybody who wants to come in during the times that I'm doing this can come in. I don't know how many people are going to show up. So depending on how long it takes for people to solve their particular problems, how many people show up, what I have available, you may be stuck waiting in the front of the store for a while. Again, this is this is free, so you get what you pay for. But I, I'm going to be experimenting with this as an idea. I'm also in the process of cleaning up my office to make more space. So there's still a bunch of shit in my office that I need to clean out of there. But there's enough space for two or three people to be able to sit down at a time and be able to work on their own project. So if you have an Arduino thing and you need to solder something and your soldering iron at home sucks, or you're trying to solder something really small and you'd like to have a mic to try it with a microscope, you can come by and try that. If this works as a project, I may eventually seek to have Repair Preservation Group find its own separate space to be able to offer these workshops on a weekly or daily basis and eventually hire people to be full-time instructors instructors for it, but I want to gauge what level of interest there is. I think my goal with this, if it gets really popular, would be to find a space that I can use to have this that's open to the public, let's say five or eight hours a day. 
and then hire somebody who is an expert when it comes to electronics repair and soldering who can just be there all day long to give people tips and answer their questions as they walk in and give them pointers and tips. So again, when I was trying to figure out how to do board repair in my office, I was doing this on my own. I was trying to figure out how to solder micro BGA on my own, BGA on my own, QFN on my own, uh, wires on my own, and there were a lot of mistakes that I made in figuring it out because it was trial and error with no help. And I think it would be kind of, and I, I, there were no resources like this when I was starting doing this stuff in 2009. So I'd, I, I'd like to try and create this type of local resource. And again, this is really experimental at the moment. I haven't finished cleaning out my office yet. The stations are not fully complete yet. And um, I haven't really found a, a specific space for this or hired people full time for it. But it's something that I'd like to repair preservation group to start doing more often. So I'm just just getting my feet wet with this right now. Uh, so do forgive me for not having this fully thought out. I'm going to kind of, you know, figure out how uh, this works and how to make procedures to make everything perfect as I do more of these. But tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard at 141 West 27th Street, I will be having a basic soldering and troubleshooting support meeting. Again, I cannot guarantee that whoever's there will be able to answer all your questions. We fix MacBooks. We don't fix, you know, alarm clocks and stereos and all this other shit. So and, and again, this is free. So please do be, keep in mind you're getting what you pay for here. But I would like to be able to just be able to host a little workshop where people can have basic questions answered, where they can get a little bit of soldering practice or experience in a microscope, maybe be able to work on one of their own projects a little bit, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So uh, yeah, th th again, this is very experimental. This is the, you're, you're in the alpha stages of this idea. So I apologize if tomorrow winds up being a bit of a mess. But uh, yeah, I'd really like to experiment with this more and see what I can turn it into. And I, I, th I think having a dedicated space at some point where people can come by and get these types of questions answered and also be able to just kind of practice and mess around on their own with their... Uh, with the soldering equipment to, uh, to to learn how to use it, but also to be able to do repairs that they can't do at home because they can't afford a microscope or a proper soldering station and all that would be pretty cool. And maybe if I'm able to get more people involved in this, what I'm also hoping is that I can eventually find more people willing to contribute to this wiki. Because at this point, I would say about 90% of the content in this wiki is still content that, that, I've put in, that I've put in here, like a good 90% of it. And I'm looking to get more people contributing to this. And the way I'm going to get more people contributing I imagine is if I get more people involved in repair and what better way to get more people involved in repair than to say, hey, if you don't have the equipment to do a repair that you're looking to do at home, come by and you can use the station. Again, I can't tell you how much time you're going to have on each individual station. That depends on how many stations I have, how many people show up and how many people wind up having really long problems. No promises here, but I would just like to get started with this idea. And if you would like to be a beta tester with this idea and you, the idea of having some free time and a microscope and a soldering station is something that is appealing to you or just getting to pick people's brains on some basic questions on soldering techniques or um, or how to attach things or basic or some electronics troubleshooting is appealing to you at no cost, uh, do come by. You're welcome to. I will leave a link in the description down below. I think I've repeated myself about eight times, which is a flaw of mine, but it's not something I really got to work on. So I'm going to stop recording now so I don't keep repeating myself. That's it for today. And uh, yeah, we'll see who shows up and how this goes. Talk to you later.